Christine, um, as I talk, we're obviously going to have a look at the images, but tell us where it's happening and, you know, what are they saying about the extent of it? Sure, it's happening in a region called uh, the Antarctic Peninsula. And I've been there, it's known as the Banana Belt, because although it's freezing by normal standards, it is actually the warmest bit of the Antarctic and it's warming up faster than anywhere else in the southern hemisphere by about 0.5 degrees every decade. So this area, they think, has really been hit hard by global warming. I mean, you know, the, the images speak for themselves, really, when you see the extent of that. And yet, you know, we are regularly reporting on ice melting and, you know, climate change. It, does this, what we're seeing now, represent a step change in the kind of debate we've had or not? Well, as part of a, a trend over the last few decades, this is about the seventh ice shelf, and it's the biggest one. It's about... 5,000 square miles in total. The whole thing hasn't broken up, but if this ice shelf does break up completely, it'll be the biggest to go. And the pictures you can see here, they're flying down the middle of this crack. The whole thing has broken off in this extraordinary clean break. The width of that, where we're looking at it, 200, 300 feet wide. Those cliffs are about 60 foot high. I mean, it's an amazing sight, and they're watching it extremely closely. They went in to look when they got a hint from satellite images that something very strange was going on. Because although this ice is on water, if it melts, it won't raise sea level. So there's no imminent danger right. of anywhere flooding. But these ice shelves at the edge of the continent block glaciers behind them. So when these break up and float away, there is a danger that the glaciers slip very quickly to the coast. And those are what increase um, sea level rise. But it's the speed at which they're melting which is causing scientists more alarm than ever. And it's more evidence, claims the UN, that climate change is reshaping our environment. Today's report says glaciers are now thawing at the fastest rate since records began. Between 1980 and 1999, they were shrinking by an average of 30 centimetres a year. In 2000, that had almost doubled to 50 centimetres. But the most recent data for 2006 reveals that glaciers are now shrinking at an annual rate of 1.4 metres. The report's authors describe this as an accelerating trend with no end in sight. This glacier in Norway is already fulfilling some of the worst predictions. It lost a third of a metre in 2005, more than three metres a year later. Experts claim the worldwide consequences are potentially catastrophic ranging from flooding in the short term to drought in the long term. As the glaciers shrink, uh, the amount of water in the streams will uh, drop and uh, this will have uh, dramatic uh, implications for people who are dependent on the water uh, that ultimately comes from those glaciers. The UN is calling on political leaders to increase their efforts to combat global warming. But sceptics dispute this has anything to do with man's activities. They say melting glaciers are just part of the natural cycle.